Hi, I'm Shelley Fischel from Tomorrow's VA. In this tip, we're going to learn about styling pictures. So here's that lovely coffee bean with an aroma coming out of it sitting on my slide. I'm going to select it and once I do that, I get the picture format button, the picture format ribbon, I should say. So now I've got all the tools I could ever want to format my picture. So let's go from left to right and just talk about what they are. I can remove the background if I want to remove various elements or keep other elements of my picture. I can change the picture, perhaps I picked the wrong one. I've got picture corrections which allow me to change the brightness or the contrast or to sharpen and soften the image and that will subtly change the picture too. I can colour wash my picture so I could make it match my theme for example if I want it to be in the green that matches my theme and I could add artistic effects. Um, these often uh, mask the picture completely and I'm not going to apply one but you can play with those at your leisure. I can also set transparency so maybe I want it to be a bit more washed out but I'm going to keep it how it was. I can also add choose to reset the picture so assuming I've made lots of lots and lots of changes to it and I want it to go back to how it started life then I can reset the picture. One of my favorite things are quick styles and these are different ways you can frame your picture. You could make it um, look completely flat like that. You can make it do all sorts of things. Now where's the one I'm looking for? This one it looks a bit like a postcard. I can then add a nice border and I can choose from my theme colors so that I can give it an orange border or a dark blue border or in fact a green border as part of my theme. Let's go for the orange and it's tipped on its side. Notice that I've also got a rotate button so I can rotate it the other way if I prefer or leave it like that and I can move it around to place it exactly where I want it to go. If I've got many objects I can bring it forward, send it backward and change the alignment and reordering. Another thing I can do with the picture is crop it. So let's say I don't want all of it, I can crop some of it out and I could pull it in like that and when I press return it will crop and so I've got less of a picture than I had before. Um, I can also set the picture size, height and width if I want to and the other thing I wanted to show here was you can rotate it from a button too and there are more options when you go into more options and they open in the task pane. So there is a huge amount of customization that you can do when you're formatting a picture in PowerPoint 2016 for Mac. To find out more about using Microsoft Office in your VA business, head over to www.tomorrowsva.com where you'll find a wealth of extra information. We have a very active blog and you'll also get access to our brilliant online training.